Hey guys, it's your girl Brittany Jade. Welcome back to another What I Eat Wednesday video where I take you guys along with me and show you everything that I'm eating today. And this is all keto and intermittent fasting. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you would join the fam by clicking the red subscribe button. Let's get right on into eating. Good morning guys, happy Monday. I have some eggs here. This is just one scrambled egg and I've got some zucchini and a little bit of mushroom sauteed in there and then just two slices of bacon. Wow, I just said happy Monday, but this is going live on Wednesday, but it's Monday when I'm filming it, so y'all get it, y'all get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. The time right now is 10 a.m. Okay, so I just went to Starbucks and I got a venti cold brew with heavy cream, sugar-free vanilla, sugar-free cinnamon dolce, no classic. I added whipped cream and cinnamon powder and you guys, I got a venti size because we're driving to Costco right now. Time right now is 11.30 and I'll check back in with you guys when I eat next. Okay guys, so the time right now, sorry that was my air conditioner, the time right now is 2 o'clock. We are just now leaving Walmart, so I had a little bit of a later day than anticipated, but I am going to get one of these Cobb salads, or I'm going to eat one of them. Um, I mean obviously these aren't like the best choice in the world. There is 160 calories, 14 grams of fat, there is two net carbs, I mean it's not horrible. There is a little bit of sugars in here with the dressing, but... This is good and on track for me for right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this before we head home. All right guys, so it's 3.51 right now. I am gonna start dinner soon, but I was feeling really hungry, so I just um, served up half a serving of pepperoni, um, one tablespoon of this whipped cream cheese. I just picked this up at Walmart, and y'all, this stuff tastes so good. And then some sliced jalapenos, and these are hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and munch on these while I get ready to get dinner started. Okay, that little snack did not hit the spot. I'm still feeling hungry. It's four o'clock, so it's only been like 10 minutes. I wolfed that snack down, but I did pick these up and I'm having a little sweet tooth attack, so I wanna try them. They are the Atkins Snack Bars. There's 180 calories per bar, 12 grams of fat. Jeez. It says there's three net carbs, but... Oh, okay, I always forget about the sugar alcohols. Okay, so there's three net carbs and seven grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat one of these, y'all, one of these. You guys, these snack bars are life. I legit feel like I'm eating. I'm gonna go on the deep end here and say it feels like I'm eating a Snickers. This is so good, too good, too good. All right, you guys, so I am getting ready to make some chicken cordon bleu. I just got four chicken breasts here. Well, actually, this is two chicken breasts, but I cut them in half because I don't like really thick chicken breasts. And I have seasoned them with salt, pepper, garlic powder. Um, the pepper did get away from me, so there's kind of a lot there. Uh, don't mind that. So we're just going to top this with a mixture of keto mayo by chosen foods and dijon mustard i'm gonna blend this like mix probably a tablespoon of each i'd say and smear it on top so that's what we're gonna get going right now all right you guys so i realized as i was editing this video that i really went through this video really quickly and it's going to be a super short and straight to the point kind of video but i don't know i'm kind of liking this it just gives you guys like exactly what i'm eating there's no fluff there's not a lot of talking in between so i do kind of enjoy this so i just wanted to walk you through really quickly here what i'm doing with this chicken i'm giving it a nice even coat on both sides of the chicken because that's what i like and then i'm going to to be grabbing just an old plastic bag and I'm going to be dumping in almond flour as you can see I don't measure this but I do season my almond flour it's just a personal choice that I have and I'm gonna shake the chicken in here two at a time so here is my chicken breast all sludged up in that keto mayo and Dijon mustard and then dredged in almond flour I'm gonna put it in a 425 degree already warmed oven for about 20 minutes or so Girl, a little 
A very important step that I forgot to show you guys was when you are about to put your chicken in the oven, you wanna make sure to spray it with an avocado oil or some other kind of oil in a spray can. This is going to ensure that your chicken crisps up and gets that nice golden brown color. And then once, you, once it comes out of the oven after being cooked, you're just gonna to top it with this ham and some Swiss cheese and you're gonna to wanna to put it back in your oven on broil until the cheese is nice and toasty. All right, you guys, so here it is, and it's all ready to go. All right, you guys, I honestly think I did not show you the dinner meal, and I'm so sorry about it, but all I had was a side salad and that chicken. It was so delicious, but thank you so much for clicking on today's video, guys. I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. You know all that jazz, all that jazz. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I'm not even gonna try if you don't wanna stay. So how's it gonna be? You got me on my knees. I don't need no roses on my bed.